cooking. Okay, when you look at the underside of the, the deer's jaw, you find the Adam's apple here, the big chunk of cartilage, and then the angle, the two angles at the end of the jaw here. And I like to cut in front of that Adam's apple and behind of the jaw. So you come in with the scalpel sideways and punch down in, and then angle back behind the jaw. And then you do the same thing on this side. Come in, behind the jaw. And if you make that V cut right in front of the Adam's apple, back behind the jaws, you get right down to the place where you need to be. And don't be afraid to put some pressure on this and open it up so you got a place to work. And when you open it up that way, you start you see the big pharyngeal cavity. And the lymph nodes are retropharyngeal because they're right behind the pharyngeal cavity. And here's the esophagus up here that goes out to the mouth. And that goes into the nasal and passages out the nose. So when you get to where you can see the opening of that pharyngeal cavity, right on the back of that on either side are the two lymph nodes. So if you cut right through where I showed you in the Adam's apple, it should open up nicely so that you're right in the exact correct spot for those. So you can collect both of them, just to make sure they got enough tissue to work with and put it inside the, the sample bag. And then these whirl packs are made so you can twist them this way and bend it. And that number there corresponds with the number on the data sheet. You fill out everything on the data sheet there, don't leave any blanks, and you'll have all of the data that corresponds with that sample.